Okay, they tell us up here, triangle big is similar to triangle mop, and they want us to find a whole bunch of things. So what you for, should for sure do is flip triangle big around. Let's do it. I don't like how that came out. It came out totally bizarre. Let's try it again. I don't know what's going on there. All right, one more time. Well, that doesn't look good either. <laughs> one more time. All right, there we go. Best I can do. So that's triangle big. B, I, G. What did I do? I grabbed this guy and I flipped it around to line things up. What do I mean line things up? Well, see how it's, um, tri the order matters. When this is triangle big and triangle map, the order matters. So it says B, I, G. So if you go B to I to G, and then you do mop, M to O to P. See how those are upside down? See how B's on the bottom and M's on the top? So you got to flip it around. And now it matches B, I, G, M, O, P. See how they're visually lined up now? Top to bottom, B, I, you know, we go top, bottom, left, top, bottom, left, B, I, G, M, O, P. So that's better. Okay, so now let's write in the different stuff. The uh, V, that side is between uh, B and I, so it goes right here. And the 48 is between I and G, that so goes right here. And the uh, 62 is between B and G, that goes right here. The 29 degrees is angle G. And the W degrees is angle I. W degrees. There we go. And now I can just forget about this guy and just compare those other two. All right, here we go. They want they want the V first off. Okay, we can find V. That's the side over here. Remember for the sides, what we learned is you do equal ratios. You do left over left is right over right is bottom over bottom. And you use the two sides with numbers or letters. And so what am I going to use? Well, if you look at it, I have V and 62, or I could use V and 48. How do you know? Well, notice I don't know the bottom here. This is just a letter. That's not going to help me. You want to use the two sides with numbers. So in this triangle, I want to use these two sides. Do you see that? Because those two sides I know. I have numbers. And then I'll match it with these two sides. So that's what I'm going to use. So I go, oh, okay, so this is, the, uh, this is the left with the left and the right with the right. And this is the bottom and the bottom, but I'll skip those for now. I go left over left is right over right. So 93 over 62, left over left is right over right, 27 over V. And then you solve that by cross multiplying, diagonal, diagonal. And we get 93V is 63 times 27, 93V equals whatever my calculator says, 63 times 27, 1701. Last step, divide by 93, find V. V equals, I'm getting a decimal, so it's 18.290322, blah, blah, blah. I'll just cut it here. They didn't say how many places, it's usually two places. So I'll just type in 18.29 for side V, okay. Now, next fact, they want, um, they want W. How am I gonna get W? Well, that's this angle right here. Well, 127, this must be 127 because they match up. So that's 127 degrees. And then they want X, that's this angle right here. That must be the same as that. I can find that one up there in the top, can't I? By just um, doing one, I can find this one up here by 180 minus 29 minus 127, because I have the, the 29 and the 127. 
See how I'm finding that angle at the top? Just because I have two angles in the triangle. So just subtract 180 minus 29 minus 127. And I'm getting 24 degrees. So this one must be 24 degrees. And then this one over here must be the same. Because the angles are always equal. Remember, in similar triangles, the angles are exactly the same. The sides are equal ratios. So do you see how I found this 24 over here? I subtracted from 180 because I had the other two angles. And then I just brought it back. X is in the same spot as that one in the top. X is the top. Must be 24. And then finally, side Y. What is side Y? That's the bottom. So I'm going to do that down here. Side Y is the bottom. And that must match up with the 48. So I'm going to go bottom over bottom is what? Well, I should use left over left. Why? Why don't I use right? Well, because right is a letter. I don't want to use that. I want to use, remember, you want to use two sides with numbers. That's how you know which ones to do. So I'm going to do bottom with bottom and left with left. You can put... The bottom, you can switch it, it doesn't matter. So that'll be um, Y over 48, right? Bottom with bottom, Y over 48 is left 93 with 62. There we go. And then cross multiply. So 62 times Y is 48 times 93. 62 times y is 48 times 93, 44, 64. Last step, divide by 62. And y equals 72. So I found y. There it is. So we were able to find all the missing sides and angles using the fact that you know, mainly by twisting triangle big around to match triangle mop. And then the angles have to be equal and the sides have to be equal ratios. There we go.